Footage from a downtown protest over the weekend has people talking. Video showing up on social media and demonstrators and restaurant patrons clashing. Good evening and thanks for watching KDK News at 5. I'm Kim Gable. Our Royce Jones is working to learn more about that video. Let's get right to him now live with both sides of the story and video you will only see here on KDKA. Royce. Kim, people now want to know what happens next and whether or not there will be any consequences. Pittsburgh police say they are reviewing video of the incident and are encouraging anyone who was impacted by that civil Saturday protest to come forward and file a police report. However, I spoke with one demonstrator seen in the video captured here along Penn Avenue who tells me there's more to the story. The woman who shot this viral Facebook video says she was shocked to see this roll past her dinner table. Video we muted for explicit language shows protesters screaming insults at restaurant goers as some leave their tables. This person walks over to an elderly couple, grabs a beer off their table and chugs it down. Another video shows demonstrators chasing away these people who rode their bikes through the crowd. This rider smacks somebody's bullhorn and gets whacked over the helmet with a skateboard. Those who were there say diners were bullied and harassed, but Neat Kraft, the one who drank the beer, says demonstrators acted in self-defense after the bike riders who rode through the crowd allegedly started this physical altercation caught on our cameras. Neek gave me permission to quote their Facebook post saying, quote, we seriously get hit every day that we march. Hewless aggression is escalating because the white moderate has decided we don't need to fight for our rights anymore. They went on to say, quote, protest isn't supposed to be cute marches down the street with adorable photo ops to be used for Facebook profiles. I'm here to disrupt. Neek also said that woman gave her per gave them permission to drink the beer. We tried reaching out to that couple for comment to no avail. State leaders are calling what demonstrators did a crime, and they're also saying that local officials need to prosecute those responsible. The mayor's office declined our request for comment. Reporting live along Penn Avenue tonight, Royce Jones, KDKA News.